What is up everyone, my name is Nintendo, and uh, I, I'm finally getting around to doing the Q&A. Um, I, uh, I just haven't been able to, I've been like extremely busy. I've also been sick uh, these past few weeks, so uh, that's why I haven't really um, done the Q&A. But uh, here we are now, uh, I'm finally doing it. I give you guys plenty of time to uh, um, submit your questions and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into the questions. So the first question is from Pudov. He says, what's your top three favorite games released this year or that are going to be released? Uh, let's see, uh, top three favorite games. Um, Sugar. Well, uh, I really liked um, Who's Your Daddy? That was a good game. The Ruby game was pretty dope. Uh, what else was released this year? I, I I can't remember what else was. I haven't played too many games this year. It's it was it's just been mainly Smash, a little Pokemon, and <laughs> that's about it, honestly. Uh, but you know, Smash wasn't released this year, so whatever, whatever. Um, next question is from Cyber Nightmare. He says, "What is it like to be homeschooled?" Um, honestly, I wouldn't know what it's like uh, being in public school or private school, any other kind of school, um, other than home, because I've never been to any school. Uh, but I can tell you, being homeschooled is is pretty dope. You get to stay home, uh, stay in your pajamas, just do school. Uh, it's it's not that difficult. It's, I mean, it's, I, I would assume it's way better than getting up at, a uh, like six in the morning, going to school, staying till like three. Some people stay till like four or five. Uh, but yeah, homes being homeschooled is dope. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have too much else to say about that, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Next question is from Mudkip5548. He says, first off, how are you? I'm doing, I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. Uh, second, did you ever think you would be at 5K, and what are your plans for the future? Thanks again if you do answer my question. Keep up the great work. Uh, thanks so much, man. Um, but no, never did I really think that I would be at a 5K, especially so soon. Uh, like, all of this growth just came, like, so suddenly, and uh, I, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, my plans for the future, uh, <laughs> just, I, I don't really have any plans per se, but, uh, well, tech, yeah, I do, I, I have plans for sure, but, um, nothing I can really say, cause I definitely want to keep it a surprise, but nothing, like, absolutely major that I have, uh, planned, um, but yeah, I hope you guys, uh, stick with me. Through the through the adventures and for through uh, what I have planned for you guys in the future. The next question is from my man Mua. Definitely go check out his channel. He's got a sick channel. He does Smash, uh, Mega Man news, just basically everything Nintendo. He's a great dude. Anyway, he says, "Congrats on 5K subs, my dude. I hope you reach 10K this year. Thank you, and I think we will." Uh, but his question is, "What characters did you vote for the for the uh, Super Smash Bros. Fighter ballot?" I voted for uh, Roy before he was announced. Uh, Wolf and Sh uh, Shovel Knight. Yeah, those are those are the three that I voted for. Um, I'm I'm pretty sad that uh, Wolf and Shovel Knight didn't get it. I mean, Shovel Knight a little less than Wolf. I mean, Shovel Knight was just you know kind of a dream. Uh, but Wolf, I'm definitely pretty upset that he didn't get in. But you know what? It's whatever. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the game as it is. Uh, but yeah, that's who I voted for. Uh, thank you for asking, man. Okay, uh, so multiple people asked this question, um, but I'm just gonna, uh, go with Lucky Jero's question. He said, uh, why did you stop shiny hunting, got every shiny Pokemon you wish for, and we should battle again sometime? Uh, so yeah, definitely I will, I will get around to battling you again. Uh, but the reason why I stopped shiny hunting is because it just, it, it just wasn't fun for me anymore. Uh, I I got bored of it. It just I don't know it felt like the same thing over and over I mean getting the shinies is definitely cool and stuff, but th I never do anything with them They just kind of sit in my PC and that's the end of the story N Nothing really happens with them Plus like Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They, they they're just getting stale for me like I Don't know uh, when when you do the same thing over and over again. It, it gets stale and boring. So 
Yeah, that is mainly why I stopped shiny hunting. Bolt Manetric asks, Ken, will you do Let's Plays in the future? If not, what will you plan on doing on the channel besides Smash? Love your channel, by the way. Thanks so much. Um, I don't really plan on doing too many Let's Plays uh, on this channel at all. The closest thing I would really do to a Let's Play is uh, like a For Glory series. If you guys would like to see a For Glory series, definitely let me know in the comments. Anyhow, uh, but yeah, that's basically the only thing I would do uh, as far as Let's Plays is that. Um, besides Smash on my channel, uh, I would like to do some kind of uh, like uh, short films and stuff. Because uh, I'm, I'm very much into cinematography and uh, just filmmaking and stuff. So I definitely want to play around a little with that. Uh, so yeah, de expect some kind of little uh, like short videos. Uh, definitely high quality videos too. Um, but yeah, th there will just be like some uh, test videos like that coming out in the future. Like if you saw my, uh, my two videos that I did before, it was... What did I title them? One was called The Beauty of Nature, the other was called, uh, shoot, I forgot. Um, but they were just both videos of me going outside and uh, taking videos, just trying to get good shots and whatever. So yeah, expect some more of that. I'm getting way off topic. Anyhow, let's move on. Uh, Dur Lemon asks, who is your main? Uh, shoot, that's a, that's a really hard question because, like, I'm going back and forth between uh, Mario, Sheik, and Marth. Those three are like, I, I don't know, I just I just do really well uh, with them. But I, I would have to say uh, the character that I do the best with is Mario, so that's probably who I'm going to go with as my main. Masubi Gaming says, how old are you? Um, I am 16. I am turning 17 on August 21st. That's a little after SmashCon. Woot woot. Leo J says, hi, Ken. Congrats from Brazil. Uh, my question is, can you show us your room? Um, I will definitely do some kind of room tour later on, or, uh, some kind of setup, uh, tour kind of thing. So yeah, definitely expect that sometime in the future. You got a pretty long name, so I'm just gonna call you, uh, Jean. Uh, he asks, how long did it take you to decide what game you were going to upload on this channel? Well, uh, really, I just kind of uploaded whatever the heck I wanted. Uh, it's It started off as a shiny hunting channel. If you go to my older videos, it's like mainly shiny hunting stuff. Uh, but later on, it just progressed to Smash. Um, I, I was like scared to upload Smash content because I didn't know how my uh, um, how the people that watched my shiny hunting videos would uh, react to it or um, if they would like it or not. So at first I was kind of iffy on uploading Smash stuff. I would upload the occasional Smash video. Uh, then eventually I just um, started uploading a ton of Smash videos. Never did I think that, you know, this many people would actually subscribe and watch those videos. Um, but I definitely do thank you guys so much for that. Um, for just watching my videos. It's, it's crazy the amount of support. I just really appreciate it. I'm sure you guys are like sick of hearing that, but yeah, I really do mean it. Uh, Mighty Helix Fossil, my man, he says, uh, it was tough thinking of a new question, but what was your first exposure to the competitive Smash community? Was it Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and who was the one you learned most of your skills from? Um, it was actually on YouTube. I was just kind of, I forgot what I was watching, but um, I, saw, I saw like on the recommended videos, uh, it's it showed a... Uh, Armana versus Mewtwo-King at Apex 2013, yeah, 2013, uh, and it was a Project M set, I'm pretty sure, uh, Armada was Pit, and Mewtwo, I forgot who Mewtwo-King was, um, but it was a really, really great set, uh, it was super intense, um, and I, I just really wanted to learn how to do that stuff, so basically what I did is, uh, I looked up a lot of, like, stuff about Project M, I got Project M on, that bleh, bleh, I got Project M on my SD card, uh, and I, I started playing that before, like, you know, any other Smash game. I played Smash Bros. Melee as a kid, but, you know, that doesn't really count as, you know, competitive Smash. Uh, but yeah, I started playing competitively with Project M, and then so on and so forth, I started playing Melee, and yeah, it just went from there. Uh, the Smiling Gamer says, what are some tips on how to get as successful as you are today? I started YouTube about two years ago, and I took a long break from it 
After watching your videos, I got motivation to try and start again. The only problem is I don't know what to do. Please tell me what you suggest I should do for my channel. Um, honestly, what you do on your channel is completely up to you. As far as success, I honestly don't even know how I got there. I just did what I thought was fun and I just kept going no matter if I wanted to stop. Uh, I've, ha I've had this channel for about um, almost two years now and uh, I I'm so glad I didn't quit like I said in the last question uh, because I am where I'm at today because I didn't quit. So uh, yeah, just basically do what you think is fun and do what you want to do and uh, people will come, believe me. Um, if you just uh, if you just keep going and keep pushing, people will come. Just just believe me. I, I know I know it's so it's like you know everybody says that, but trust me, it works. I'm telling you. Just keep on just keep on going on. If the, I probably said that wrong, whatever. Fluffles says, do you play any Melee or Project M, and what do you think about those games? I love Melee and Project M. I actually started with Project M, as I said in the uh, previous question. Um, but yeah, I started with Project M and Melee, and I, I, I love those games to death, believe me. Uh, I love watching um, Melee and Project M tournaments. They, they just get, like, to me, those are some of the most hype games to watch. Like, I love watching Smash 4, believe me, but there's something about Melee that, I don't know, that there's, there's this amount of hype that I get so much more from Melee than I do for Smash 4. There's nothing, absolutely nothing against Smash 4, but I just feel like Melee is more fun to watch. That's just my opinion. And that is about all the questions I'm gonna answer for today. There were so many questions, and I wanna say thank you guys so much for just asking all of them. I really do appreciate it. I thank you for the support so much, uh, despite just me posting the crap that I do post, like the uh, how to make mac and cheese. <laughs> I don't I don't know how you guys enjoy that, um, but I'm glad you do, and uh, I thank you guys so much for watching this video, um, and yeah, peace, peace, guys.